This is a 20-year-old Ford F250 Super Duty. And I think it's the perfect daily driver for the UK roads. And I think he's lost his mind, so to find out if he has, let's take it for a drive. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> so he doesn't hit the air horn by mistake. I do have some questions about the vehicle, yeah. but first, what are you wearing? Oh, I'm in the full American trucker get-up, Matt. Have you got one for me? Because it's... Give it, give it time, give it time and you'll come round, trust oh. me. So what do you reckon about the truck then? It's um, big. Size does matter. Size does matter in the world of American pickup trucks. Don't believe yeah. that. I think the wheelbase is something like one for Mondeo. It's done a few miles. It's done about 253,000 miles. The doors do creak a little bit. Paintwork's not in the best condition. The previous guy bought it, it was wrapped grey. I think when the wrap came off, it did take off half of the paint with it. So I think you're best to view it from about two metres back. So just don't a look too further. closely. Yeah, but it still looks massive, doesn't it? Yeah, but it still looks <laughs> Come around quite... the back, it's got a big bed. Do you want to have a look at the low bed? Of course we do. No, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it weighs a bit, yeah. doesn't it? It's, a... it's, it's had a life. It has had it, a... It's, it's seen it's, some stuff. It's been well used. It's it seen, doesn't want to talk about it. It might have seen a few criminal goings on. So yeah, let's shut that and move on from that, I think. Well, there's some crust here. Yeah, don't poke. Please don't poke too hard. I don't want to... You shouldn't put your fingers I'm borrowing things, this car but... for a friend. If I bring it back with more rust than it left with, he won't ever be my friend again, trust me. So I think I'm probably right in assuming that that's, that's not a real bead lock. I think we'll call those bead knots just for show. Was, is this more patina? I think that was probably a small American child crossing the road that didn't come off so well. So. Oh, that's a lot of beige. All the beige. I mean, do you expect anything else from an American truck? Build quality, what you expect from an American car, not what you expect from a German car. I fixed it for you, though. Thanks. So, do you want to have a look under the hood? Please, please do pop the hood. Got the strength? Cute. Just about. There she is. Ford Power Stroke Molder. How big do you reckon that bad boy is then? Seven. A bit more? Point. 7.3. 7.3 litres. How much power do you reckon? The Americans have a reputation for producing massive engines with not a lot of power, so... 300? It's a, yeah, it's about 300 okay. brake. Torque. Torque. 500 pound foot. Yeah, about 550. That's so, through what? Like a four-speed, four-speed auto? Yeah, not many gears. Of, all all of the leisurely changes All I'm the getting. slush. It kind all of slush. It has to think about it and it goes... I don't want go. to change gear today, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. That's what it does, That's yeah. That's my freedom. Yeah, it's my freedom to my choose freedom a gear. My freedom to choose my gear I want, I want gear. to choose I'll it. I'll change gear. Fuel economy, dare I ask? No, don't ask. And not, did you say I'm, I'm, I'm paying for the fuel today? Yeah, so you'll find out. Your credit card will find out later on. I don't know how you've managed to negotiate that, but you can get lunch. Oh. oh God! Oh, you Does know it what? Do? No, oh you know my what that God! Is? You know what that is? The indicators need warming up. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> they need warming up. <laughs> this does have a slight quirk, and that the indicators do need warming up. So I'm just going to leave the hazards on for a minute. They need warming. Yeah. I've never heard they that in my life before. I think the, the relay is a little bit sticky. Warming up. Jesus Christ! So as I was saying, perfect daily driver when you have to warm up your indicators. Yeah, so so perfect you have to stop for fuel how often? Because we're having to stop for fuel already, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we've been driving for two minutes and we need yeah. some fuel. This is a problem. I don't the guy behind doesn't know I'm indicating. I don't want to go in there. So, yeah, so when the indicators are warming up, they don't work. Correct. <laughs> perfect daily driver. How much money you've just cost me? Yeah, two figures though. Could have been worse. After a quick top up of fuel, of course at my expense, we finally hit the road. You've been in it for a little while. How are you feeling about American truck life, Matt? Um, are you on board? Uh, not, not yet. Thought you might say that. So, oh. I've got a gift for you. A couple of gifts. Oh, which, which one's for me? The American hat. Which one would you like? Would you like oh, the Grave like Digger one. Monster Truck one? You're going for the I base, like the base pro shop in that case. Yeah, I like that. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Now we're getting there. I'm getting there. All we need now, a bit of country music on the radio. Heads Carolina, tails California. Jesus Christ. Maybe she'll fight. No. Maybe she'll fall for a boy from South Georgia. So we, we just, we're going into a, a, a quiet little Abingdon on Thames. Yeah. I feel like Abingdon on Thames and this car are quite far apart. The other end of the spectrum. Oh my life. Looking a bit narrow, Matt. Oh. This is what this is what worried me. How's my back wheel? Yeah, what we need now is a nice bit of fast Cousin. food. What? Cousin. So we squeezed the big truck through the small town and went and found ourselves a true American delicacy. So simply park your massive pickup truck in that tiny space when okay. you want to go to I McDonald's. Think I think we're all right. We're you got faith? Cars? I'm going between. I'm challenging myself. I have some faith. Have you noticed, now or noticed, how much the wheels stick out? 
Yes. I can't even see that. I might have to shuffle. I'm going to shuffle already. I don't. I'm going for a shuffle already. I've not even made it anywhere near the space. Oh, the power steering gets a little bit heavy. Get your head out, Matt. Right. Yeah. 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 Just like, just like a Lamborghini Countach. Straight up. Straight up. That's no way straight. Uh, there is a tree. Um, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Wait. 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 wait, 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 wait I got a shuffle. I got a shuffle. I'm not in. You're fine. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the back. I'm gonna check the back. Don't run me over. If you switch on the smog map, I will kill you. <laughs> Good back idea. Smoke mode. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Matt. M Matt. Just check. Is the bonnet latched? Sorry. Is the bonnet latched? Just check. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I fell for that. <laughs> Prick. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can you, went, can oh, you get it? Accidentally Have you taken that off a cruise ship? Train. Train. There's a there's a, there's a national rail train somewhere that's no longer got a horn, I think, yeah. On the face of it, that doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. But if you look, you are, I've got you back like a good foot. So really, it should be like a foot. Yeah, out. it's in, isn't it? It's in, I mean, like I said, completely practical. Park it anywhere, forget about it. But you're going to have to pull it forward because we need, we need to have a tailgate party, don't we? And we just need a passenger who's always willing to get out and guide you in spaces. Apart from that, perfect. Got lunch, Matt. I thought, what would an American have? And I thought, side salad. Side That's salad. That's what I've got for you. There you go. It's no, it's no fork, you can just eat it with your mouse. That's my lunch. That's your lunch. I thought that would be quite appropriate. You thought the stereotypical American yeah. McDonald's order was a side salad. Is it good? No, it's shit actually. I'll get, I'll get a burger. It's in smoke mode right now. <laughs> yes, I don't it want is. to be a part of this. <laughs> no, I'm no one willing know. participant. No one knows we're here, Matt. Be known. <laughs> Oh my god, that horn! <laughs> you love it! Are you sure? Oh. Uh, yeah. Right, what Does we it might go through done? the end? Go to the end, it might, it might go through. It'll fit. I have, I have every confidence. I don't, but... You might have to stop traffic, genuinely. I suppose I better see you out then. Better see me back, Matt. So practical that, you know, you have you to have... Passenger. You need a person to guide you back. Yeah. You need the two light markers that they have on the runway. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. F250 Super Duty not made for turn again lane. As long as it doesn't hit the air horn by mistake. Sake. Left hand down. Is he going to let us go? Bit of the left hand down. Bit of left. That way. His left and right hand down signals don't appear to be doing much. He's got to stop traffic. Thanks, Matt. Sorry. Just yeah, just stop all of the traffic in Abingdon. Thank you, thank, <laughs> thank you. Sorry. This is the most thank embarrassed you. I've been in my life. Shopkeepers come out to see what's going on. Thank you, that's the wrong side, that's the wrong side. Can't get in there. Jump in. Whoa. That is the most embarrassed I've been in my entire life. You had to do that, didn't you? You just had to do that. I don't reckon it'll fit. Oh, is this borderline? Do you reckon? Borderline. See me in. All right. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, keep going, keep going, you're fine. fine. Good. Yeah, loads of room. I don't believe it. Whoa, whoa, stop. That's no, fine. Oh, that, something just fell out of your pocket. <laughs> Made it into the countryside, Matt. On the open road. But this is like a, a pretty typical B road. It already kind of feels, I'm looking at, looking at my mirror, you're... The wheels are kind of straddling the white lines, aren't they? I yeah, think if there was a large vehicle coming the other way, I'd be clenched. Oh, look, train. You know what we have in common? Train horn. <laughs> After wiping the embarrassment off my face, no thanks to Alex, we go out and find out exactly how efficient our 7.3 litre F250 really is. Right. Moment of truth. It reckons we've done 19 miles. Right. 19, I think it's 19, 19 and a quarter of a tank, the gauge right. reckons. Well, let's, hope it's a, let's hope it's the dodgy gauge. Calculator at the ready. What, it's clicked already? 
That can't be right. Give it, give it another go. Oh, we did three clicks last time. Three clicks. We're not being entirely scientific. Two. Yeah. Three. Right, okay. That's almost exactly a gallon. 4.32 so, yeah. litres. 90 miles per gallon. Oh, there you go. It's a cool car. No, I'm shocked. I was expecting that to be like 11. But that's less than a gallon. Yeah. And you know what? I'm feeling generous, so I'll still get that I for you. I might start commuting in it. I'll still get that for you. So Matt might still think that I'm completely insane, but I reckon the F250 is a great daily driver. You've just got to be okay with 19 MPG, getting stuck down the odd narrow lane, and always having a passenger along to help you part the damn thing. But anyway, forget about all of that, because most important, America. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all future videos. Speaking of which, here is a little taster of next week's.